Okay, here I'm going to do problems 13 and 14 from my uh, review problems worksheet. A couple more logarithm equations. So in 13 here, notice we have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of 3x equals 4. The main thing to notice is we have the same base. In this case, it's a base of 2. If you didn't have the same base, this problem would be much more difficult to solve. But, well, we do have the same base. And just to remind you of the property... It says if you have the same base but you have addition, we can rewrite that as a single logarithm using multiplication. So I'm going to use that property and rewrite this as log base 2 of x times 3x. Well, if we simplify, that's just going to give us log base 2 of 3x squared. We can rewrite this using exponential notation, so 2 to the 4th equals 3x squared. 2 to the 4th is just going to give us 16. We can also divide both sides by 3. If we take the square root of both sides, we'll get positive, negative, square root of 16 over 3 equals x. So a couple of remarks. First off, I'm going to simplify the radical. So we can rewrite that, as, rewrite that as the square root of 16 over the square root of 3, which will give us 4 over root 3. And if you want to rationalize that, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3. So it says we have the potential solutions of positive 4 root 3 and negative, uh, excuse me, positive 4 root 3 over 3 and negative 4 root 3 over 3. Now, you can get extraneous solutions with logarithms, so this is one thing you have to check. Notice we've got two values here. We've got the solutions of the solution of 4 root 3 over 3, and also negative 4 root 3 over 3. Recall that the domain of a logarithm, recall that that's what a logarithm looks like. So there's log base a of x. That's if the base is greater than 1. Just to remind you on graphing also real quick here. What this graph says, it says the domain of a logarithm with a, a base greater than 1, and also if, it, if the base is between 0 and 1, it says the domain are all numbers strictly greater than 0. It's kind of like a square root. You don't want to put a negative number in a square root. I mean, you can get complex numbers, but you don't get a, a real number. Notice if we try to use our negative 4 root 3 over 3, well, if we put that into our logarithm, either one of the terms, we're going to get a negative number, that's going to make it undefined. So that negative value is not going to be a solution. You can check, though, that the 4 root 3 over 3 does check out and works. Okay, so just one solution to that first equation. Okay, so number 2, the only kind of difference here is now we have subtraction. Two properties here. Uh, we saw in the previous video that if it's an exponent, it can come out as a coefficient. Well, likewise, if it's a coefficient, you can rewrite it as an exponent. So that's what I'm going to do in my first step. I'm going to put the 2 upstairs on the x and have x squared. And then the other property is, well, okay, so addition turns into multiplication. Division, excuse me, uh, subtraction, I gave it away. Subtraction turns into division. And again, notice it groups into a single logarithm. Okay, so you had two logarithms There's a, uh, with the same base, there's a minus in between. You have a logarithm with the same base, but now it is division. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, just like I said, I'm going to put that coefficient upstairs as an exponent, so we'll have log base 4 of x squared. Not going to do anything with the second term. So now I can rewrite this using division. So I'm going to have log base 4 of x squared over 3x to the third equals 4. Now I'm going to use, rewrite this using exponential notation. So 4 raised to the fourth equals, I'm going to simp I could write equals x squared over 3x to the third, but we can simplify. That's just going to be 1 over 3x. Well, 4 to the 4th, that's going to be 256. If we multiply both sides by 3x, 
but divide both sides by 256, we'll have 3x equals 1 over 256. And last but not least, if we divide by 3 to both sides, we'll have 1 over 3 times 256. And if we simplify that, that'll give us 1 over, well, I guess 3 times 25 would be 75, right? 3 quarters. So 3 times 250 would be 750. And then 3 times 6 would be another 18. So it looks like we would get 1 over 768 as our solution. And you can check again. Notice that this will satisfy the, the uh, domain of both logarithms. It won't make it undefined. You can check that 1 over 768 does satisfy this equation.